Investment in training and development occurs for multiple reasons. Often training is looked at as a way to improve employees' performance and increase output. But let's not forget that a large part of training is about improving retention rates. With the average cost of turnover per employee in the UK being about £25,000, this very much makes for good business sense. A comprehensive training programme empowers employees with the knowledge on how to do their job and in turn improves job satisfaction and employee engagement. If you want company performance to improve, then training cannot be a one-off at the induction stage. Ensuring that your employees have a learning and development pathway which ties into milestones within their career, alongside an ongoing blended programme of face-to-face, -face, virtual learning, e-learning and formal education, will in turn motivate employees to excel further in their position. Regular training opportunities leads to a more discernible path to progression for employees, incentivizing them to further improve their performance. This way, ambitions and personal object objectives aren't just reserved for irregular appraisals, but are consistently monitored and built upon. Mentorship and skills sharing schemes can help with further training as well as building greater cohesion amongst peers. All these initiatives should be curated to reflect and breathe life into the organisation, culture and values of the business. Yes, these L&D initiatives will come at a cost. However, investing in an individual who is fully bought into the company means that they will continue to share their knowledge and new learnings back with the company and wider team. For me, it is more a question of can you afford not to do this?